whenever we go with expenses it is a direct expenses where administration is focused right gross profit ratio they're asking so gross profit divided by net sales into 100 carriage and freight you need to add wages for that particular good how much you have actually given you need to add when your operating ratio is high your net profit ratio will actually come down Hello everybody, a warm welcome to one and all. I'm Abhilash Chandra from the Department of Commerce and Management in Vedhyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Welcome to all the students for the 11th session of Financial Analysis. Now here when we go with analysis of financial statement, we have two topics. One is analysis of financial statement and within that topic we have one more called ratio analysis. Now we are solving the sixth problem of ratio analysis the following trading and profit and loss account of fantasy limited for the year 31 3 2000 is given below now here you have your uh, trading and profit and loss account here itself they have given it to you but i told you here whether it is a balance sheet or whether it is a trading or profit account you don't need to worry about it let's go with the question first right now this is what it is what is that they are asking us Calculate gross profit ratio, expenses ratio, operating ratio and net profit ratio. Now here I told you, if I know the formulas, what is that I need to do is I just need to pick the answers from there. That means here only the question plus here only the answer is there. So let's go with the first one here. Gross profit ratio is equal to, if I just go with the formulas you will be able to understand that very easy the question is see i have not seen what exactly the question is see uh particulars is your rupees particulars rupees now to opening stock whatever it is there to administration what is there by sales how much by gross profit brought down i have not seen anything i'll just go with the formulas that is what the abhilash chandra tricks are that is i'll go with gross profit ratio is equal to what now see numerator denominator combination you never forget in this into 100 because all these are what that is we go with the percentage we calculate it with the percentage gross profit ratio so i'll write here the first itself is what gross profit gross profit and profit is determined by one particular aspect that is how much is your sales when you get to know how much is your sales you will get to know how much is your profit so divided by net sales divided by what net sales that is my gross profit ratio formula very simple what is that i have written see the question itself gross profit ratio they're asking so gross profit divided by net sales in 200 same way here expenses ratio is there expenses means what the expenses which happens in the organization that is what expenses is you will never go with those expenses which are non-operating it is only what the expenses which is directly it is there now expense ratio is equal to let's just go with this whatever the thing is we call it as operating operating expenses divided by net sales divided by net sales into 100 done next is operating ratio what is it operating ratio now operating ratio and net profit ratio i'll tell you while solving the problem so let's go with the first one the first one is what that is gross profit ratio so what is the gross profit ratio formula gross profit ratio is equal to i'll write this numerator denominator into 100 so i'll write here gross profit gross profit divided by net sales divided by net sales so gross profit divided by net sales is equal to now we need to check in our question what exactly the gross profit is let's go with the question now here see where exactly you have this gross profit where exactly you have net sales all these things you are supposed to understand how in the sense we need to actually find out that see gross profit brought down how much is it 2 lakh and net sales net sales if you just check each and everywhere here you don't have the gross sales you don't have the net sales you have something called buy sales is how much five lakh when you don't have those kind of a thing the net sales becomes the sales only that is five lakh rupees that means what two lakh divided by five lakh so i'll just write it here that is two lakh 
डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव लाख इंटू हंड्रेड डन इजी ना इजी इक्वल टू नाउ लेट्स गो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव नाउ व्हाट हैज हैपेन टू इंटू हंड्रेड टू इंटू हंड्रेड इज टू हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव सो फाइव वन जा फाइव फोर जा सो इट इज फोर एंड जीरो दैट इज इजी इक्वल टू फोर्टी परसेंट so how much is my gross profit ratio my gpr is equal to how much 40% the business is doing good is what we can actually understand from here let's go with the next one that is expenses ratio what is that formula of expenses ratio expenses ratio is equal to we'll go with the same numerator and denominator combination into 100 so expenses in the sense we'll go with operating expenses right so it is like operating expenses divided by net sales that means all the expenses i'll just add it let's go with the question now the question says yes this is what the question is here now this is done i'll just erase this for you people so that you will have no confusion later now see understand here whenever we go with expenses it is a direct expenses where administration is focused right so here administration expenses is how much 1 lakh 1000 is the expense here plus selling and distribution is what 12 lakh is there please understand here we do have one more expense if you go with that that is the financial expenses see the demerit of ratio analysis is we don't have a standard some of the company what they do when they calculate this expenses ratios they also calculate the financial expenses administration selling and financial but let me tell you it's always this condition apply that financial expenses will not be taken in the uh, operating expenses formula so will not include financial expenses will only include administration and selling and distribution expenses so 1 lakh 1000 plus 12000 is how much 1 lakh 13000 net sales is how much again 5 lakh so we'll just write this here that is 1 lakh 13000 divided by net sales is how much here now net sales is 5 lakh that is your sales into 100 Is equal to now go with this one two three four one two three now here four here five here five that so it is hundred and thirteen hundred and thirteen by five hundred and thirteen by five you can actually use your calci and you can actually check what exactly the thing is here hundred and thirteen by five is uh, we'll just check in the calci so it is twenty two point six how much is equal to 22.60 percentage so this is what my expenses ratio is how much 22.60 done so you always use your calculator properly so that you can actually go with all these uh, things next one here if we go again we have the trading account here now what are the things which we are supposed to go with now we have done administration and uh, selling and distribution divided by net sales is done what is the next formula which we are supposed to take is operating ratio which one operating ratio when we go with this operating ratio please understand here what exactly this operating ratio is the formula here is is equal to let's go with numerator denominator into 100 denominator it is always net sales net sales so here cost of goods sold cost of goods sold plus operating expenses so we should see we know operating expenses what exactly it is operating expenses is all over uh, 113000 now what is this cost of goods sold is directly whatever the goods sold when whatever you do that the total amount that is the cost of goods sold the direct expenses for the cost of goods sold now what are the goods sold here is let's go with that now opening stock you are supposed to add purchases goods you need to add carriage and freight you need to add wages for that particular good how much you have actually given you need to add then you need to subtract with closing stock i'll give you a format here let's take the calci here right now now when you go with cost of goods sold i'll write here cost of goods sold is 
directly whatever is included while going for the selling of the the cost of goods that all things you are supposed to add which are they let's go with this purchases first is opening stock will add that is 76250 76250 plus then we have 315250 315250 then we need to again add carriage and freight 2000 and then wages is 5000 so we'll go with uh, 2000 and then 5000 done next what else we have we have all these things are done now closing stock we need to deduct that is 98500 98500 that we need to subtract so let's do the calculation here now take your calci here the thing is 76250 plus you have 315, 315250 plus 2000 plus then we have 5000. 5000 is equal to now from here till here it is 398500. So 398500 minus 98500 means what? 3 lakh rupees. So we'll write here how much? 3 lakh rupees done so 3 lakh rupees is done so i'll write the cost of goods sold is how much 3 lakh plus what is my operating expenses here only we have got no operating expenses how much it is 113000 so i'll write here 113000 divided by what is my net sales my net sale is 5 lakh into 100 easy now calculate the same now you have 3 lakh so it is here 3 lakh plus c 3 lakh plus 1 lakh plus 13 in the sense how much it is 4 lakh 13 thousand so is equal to 4 lakh 13 thousand divided by 5 lakh into 100 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 and 1 2 it is uh, 4 1 3 divided by 5 is equal to. now take your calci now what is it? 413 divided by 5 is equal to 413 divided by 5 is equal to 82.60. So what has happened is equal to 82.60 percentage. See everything is represented with the percentage. So that means my operating ratio is how much? 82.60. That is my operating ratio next one is net profit ratio net profit ratio is equal to see the word net profit net profit is that so i'll write here net profit net profit divided by net sales everything is what the denominator is what net sales into 100 see you people don't know what exactly the formula is it's only because of this abhilash chandra tricks you can able to understand as well as remember that what exactly the net profit ratio formula is net profit divided by net sales so i need to check in the question paper what is the net profit here now where exactly you get net profit now net profit is here net profit is how much 84000 how much is my sales my sale is 5 lakh so i'll write here 84,000 is equal to 84,000 divided by 5 lakh into 100. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, here 1, here 1, done. So we have how much? 84 divided by 5 is equal to. Now do the calculation 84 divided by 5. So it is 84 divided by 5 is equal to 16.8. How much? 16.80 percentage so this is what my net profit ratio is now i'll give you a trick here how exactly you are supposed to do when your operating ratio is high your net profit ratio will actually come down when your operating ratio is high your net profit will definitely come down and here you need to understand the ratio analysis n number of faculties will teach you n number of methods but what is that you should do is you need to know 
in ratio analysis we don't have a proper standard the way you see the american standard of ratio analysis and the way they calculate it it is totally different from what we people from indians we actually calculated so please listen to the faculty what exactly the faculty teach you and that is how you are supposed to remember and understand the problems any doubt regarding this session please do college we are always there to help you thank you so much i'll see you when i see you